Welcome to New York. It Hurts Me Too is a documentary film about the blues scene, which still exists, much as it always has in the Mississippi Delta, the patch of land where the blues was born. Most of the film will take place in Mississippi, revolving around four exceptional blues artists who still live and work in the Delta area. These artists, James, son Thomas. It's a whole lot goes on in Duke Joint. People just get shot that should not bother nobody. Sometimes they get killed. Somebody shooting at somebody else. Uh, hit the wrong somebody. Jack Johnson and his band. Well, you know, the Lord said, uh, play and sing and rejoice. But he didn't say what kind of music to play. Well, you can just call it the blues if you want. The Lord didn't say what kind of music. He said, be happy and rejoice. Jesse May Hempville. I'm still young and uh, full of juice. Foot loose and fancy free. Ain't nobody got no say over me. So I like to let life. I like that life. I like that life. We like that. Yeah. And Roosevelt Booby Barnes. I was playing at this club one night. There is a low ceiling. They had something like rafters go across. So I when I would play my harmonica, I would reach up and get one and swing, you know. Never stop playing. So this night, that's during the time I used to drink. So this particular night I was in there playing and I feel so good. I reached up at that ceiling. I missed it. <laughs> I missed that ceiling and I hit the floor. But the audience didn't know that I hadn't fell for real. So I played it off like I was intended to do, and I kept on playing my harmonica, but I was embarrassed, <laughs> really. I missed that feeling. <laughs> in May 1989, the artists came to play two sold-out nights of the blues in New York City, a city which stands in striking contrast to the musician's normal southern locale. This segment represents a scene from the end of the film, the New York City performances. Mr. James Song Thomas. The song I'm about to play here called Sugar Mama, and I'm going to try to play it where you can understand what I mean. Some of you may not know what Sugar Mama means. Sugar mama, sugar mama Where in the world you get your sugar from? Sugar mama, sugar mama Where in the world you get your sugar from? You got it way down in Louisiana. Out on your daddy's sugar farm. I do, I describe my music as, uh, I play blues, and I play where you can understand what I'm singing. I don't drown myself out with my music. You know I'm crazed by my tea at night. I like my carpet sweet in the morning. You know I'm crazy by my tea at night. A 
if I don't get my sugar three times a day. You know I ain't feeling just right. Thank you. Seemed like if you could sing that song like that make you feel a whole lot better. Kind of ease your mind off of your trouble. I charge you sing the blue. And, and God know how come I choose to Don't nobody know that but God. He know why I choose to sing the blue. But I know I having such a hard time. Didn't have nothing. Well, lots of times I didn't have anything to eat. Didn't know where I was going to get something to eat from. So that was hard times. You got to feel it. See, if I, if I don't feel a song, I won't make it. Hey, all right. Now I'm going to run this train through here in New York. Now I've been running through all these cities. So y'all can catch on boat. Clean train. Don't get no light, no backslider. Clean train. Okay. I be having when I'm up there playing and how I can talk when I'm playing. I be feeling good in here too from my music. I have a better audience up here in uh, New York or anywhere else I go and play. Look like they appreciate the blues more better than they do in my own hometown. Well, the people is, uh, is more friendly up here and, you know, the seem to like what you're doing here. Anywhere else but Mississippi. I have a good time with white people, and they be friendly with me, and they be, uh, uh, they act, the most act, all of them act like they like me a lot and treat me with respect and everything. And, but at home, they just act like I'm some kind of something they don't, they don't want to have nothing to do with me in Mississippi. They be there every time I play, but the, the, they just don't have that applause like you do when you leave home. Nobody hardly claps for you. They just listen and dance. And, and uh, juke joints or something like that. You either, if they don't dance, you just have to play and see they try to make them dance. But you ain't getting no claps. You at home, if you take a break, you're gonna lose half of your crowd. <laughs> but when you're away from home and, and intermission time, you can take a break about 15 minutes and the crowd's gonna stay there because they wanna hear some more. The people here uh, give you Round applause, it seems like they like what you're doing and, and, and you feel it, you know, you want to, want to put it out and it makes you want to really drive.
my darling The reason you don't love me no more What have I done? What have I done? The reason you don't love me no more Have I mistreated you? Oh Lord, have I done you wrong? A New York? I love playing here in New York. And I want to come back again. And again. And again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.